Hello, this is MakerJ101, and today I'm going to hydrostatically test this boiler that I just made. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to see how many PSI it can withstand. I'm guessing it's probably not going to withstand a lot because it's just flat on the ends. It's just a um, tomato sauce can, um, and I, it was paste, so I just um, poked a hole in it with a nail, and then I poured the tomato sauce out. Well, two holes, one for the air, one for the tomato sauce to come out, so, I, so the ends are not um, soldered back on or anything. It's pretty much all intact except for the two holes I put in it. So I soldered on a place where I could fill up the water if it if it lasts that long. And I have a um, pressure gauge this goes up to 100 psi and just some random valves and things. Well this valve doesn't need to be there but I have it there because I couldn't connect the two pipes together. <laughs> so I'm using it as a connector. Um, there's my water valve and then it connects up to the hose and I'm planning to run my or not to take this up to um, like the pressure that I want to run it at is maximum 30 psi, so I'm gonna see if I can test this to 60 psi. If it withstands up to 50 or 60, then um, I'll keep it and use it as a boiler. But if it doesn't, then oh well, I'll just use it, or it'll just be junk. Um, but so our water psi is on about 70, so it'll be plenty enough to test it. So let's give it a test. All right, so now. So hydrostatic testing is basically you just fill up whatever you want to um, test with water and then you just pump water into it. So because water doesn't compress when you you can get it up to a really high pressure and if it blows up it just kind of pops. It all the water leaks out. It doesn't explode because the air de or the water doesn't compress. If you compress this up with air, you basically have a small bomb because it would blow up because the air would expand because you get up to like 60 psi, it would explode, and you'd have all that air pushing the shrapnel everywhere, and it would just be a huge mess. With water, it doesn't do that. It just pops out, and a tiny little leak, all the water leaks out. So that's so this is really a safe way to do it. Um, so yeah, I filled it up with water. It's all the way full of water, and I'm just going to put some water into it. So let's, let's go. I've got a face mask on, so here we go. I can see the ends are starting to bulge a little bit. We're up to 20. Looks like it's going to bust soon. Oh, it's going to go. It's at about 30. And this ends are starting to really bulge. Yeah, the ends are really bulging out. <laughs> so it's 40 already. It's really handling the pressure very well so far. Fifty. Wow, that's actually working quite well, even though the ends are bulging out. Turn the water up a little bit higher. Alright, we're almost to 60. So if it makes it to 60, then I'm going to use this boiler. Alright, it's at 60. I think it's probably safe then. The ends are a little bit bulged, but it's going to serve its purpose. So, I mean, yeah, that's kind of what I figured might happen. I might, I thought it might bulge out a little bit more and then it would pop off but it must be crimped on there pretty well then so, so yeah I'll test it one more time just take it up to 60 again just to double check all right that's 60 again it seems to be holding so that's good I don't know if I should try whacking with something just to make sure. So, looks fine. Because I'm just going to operate it at 30 psi is the maximum I really want to take it to. Because I have a smaller pressure gauge and that's all the other pressure gauge goes to is 30 psi, so I don't want to take it over 30. So I think this is going to work very well then. Alright, 
So that was some hydrostatic testing of my new boiler. That's about it. Thanks for watching.